hello everyone uh, today i'm going to show you the second part of uh, how to insert the checked item of checkbox list into the database table so i'm going to uh, the student controller here we have a student controller so you can right click on it and add a new controller that is student controller and in which in which we have a uh, i create a constructor with have application db context uh, reference or you can say the object and uh, and that pass uh, to that application db context and pass to the my private uh, application db context object okay so after that uh, we can communicate with the table uh, of the students as well as their linking okay now the first going with the index action method in the index action method we can retrieve all the uh, students by using this method contact.students.to list and right click on it and go to the add views in add views we have a list of items and the model class is student so is there is uh, yeah there is students and application db context is also there and after that we can uh, retrieve the item in the student okay in the index action method in the student uh, in the index action method we have the list of students you can check this so that default is student and the index action method so list of item is there okay and when we click on the create new button that is like uh, they are create when we click on the create button i mean to say that the those entry uh, include a new create buttons that is when we click on the create that create uh, get method will call when we click on the create again student controller and the create uh, get method will call in the create method we have some um, um, values uh, which is related to available courses so let's have to check it and after that when we click on the create action method that view is presented and that is the student course view model because in this um, view section we have the student part as well as the course part you know you know that that is related to many to many relationships you know very well so create a new view model for this preparations okay so after that uh, first of all create a new view model before going to this uh, details of this uh, code first of all create a new view model so in, inside the model we have a new view model that is student course view model in the student course view model we have id first name last name email and the role number of the students that is related to the students data and we have a checkbox item class and in in class we have uh, those uh, available courses a property with the list of type available courses and the class by the checkbox item in the checkbox item we have three item that is id title and is checked okay so after that we can bind it mm, the all the courses uh, that is available so here you can check it context.courses.to list i mean to say that all the courses pass to the item okay and the student model is there student view model create a object of the student create mo model i will call available courses and available courses is bind with the list box item so i want to select all those items and pass to the available courses to the student view model okay so id is vm.id and vm.title and the is checked is false okay so uh, available courses we have id title and is checked okay you got it i think because the item is passed it here in the item you know that the item pass there is vm dot id pass to the id of that m1 object and pass to the m1 okay when we create a new section add view in add view section you can check it the student section of your uh, in the view section the view section we have a student and the create section you can check it the view model is student course view model 
and uh, that is automatically created by scaffolding when you select the uh, scaffolding uh, now again student controller I check it right click on it add view create it and create section model class is student course view model and the DB context is there there is no need for the view model because not linking with the database table okay so when we click on the create button that is create section is there the, that is the default uh, created by uh, automatically created by uh, Visual Studio and I create that method for the available courses you can check it this is the available courses uh, I model dot available to available courses and that model is represent with the model that is course view model in which we have the available courses that is the type of the list so I um, get it the all the data that is ID title and the each e act okay the default uh, value of the each e act is false is pass it from here is passing from it here okay so after that oops. okay uh, now got it after that um, false is there and VM is there so when we click on the create button when we click on the create button that is there the create section will pass the list of items uh, that is create post method in the post method we have when we click on the uh, again open student index method when we click on create there is section and when we select that those option only because the default section is false pass it from here the default section is false ID title and for uh, uh, each act is false so all the R default is false when we select it and pass that value in it here so all the model pass to the student course view model it here in the post method so student entry and the student course entry is there so create a list of courses where the, uh, that is bind with the um, middleware class and pass to the students by getting from the SCVM first name last name roll number this is the single item in it here and the available courses um, that is available courses with they have multiple checked items so I uh, get the item with the checked item and insert to the new student course list okay and after that we uh, we want to enter in the student course uh, database table so use for each loop item for stc is stc is type of this uh, list of student course so add it context dot student course dot add items okay after that can uh, you can changes your views now so the result is so the result is when we click on it like uh, mm, Amy Smith okay and the roll number is there okay and the um, courses PC and MCA created there is Amy okay and the middle uh, value the all the courses is passed it here but the courses though selected is Mm, available courses is checked in the STC and STC is passed to the student course dot add one by one so ME is related to the MC and BC only so MC and the BCA hold it uh, your database table web application 5 okay student course is the middle tire so uh, ME is exist on the fifth number so the ID number is fifth there is fifth number that is the one selected that is BCA and ME is selected also the second number so that is MCA 
So thank you very much for watching this video. Keep watching my all other videos.